Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the national anthem of the United States of America and the invocation offered this morning by Chaplain Sean Gee. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we seek your blessing upon, upon today's ceremony and everyone attending. We especially give thanks for our partner nations and the faithful service of these three leaders to their countries. We recognize and are humbled by the fact that we stand upon the shoulders of leaders like these. As we reflect today upon their contributions and service, may their demonstrated excellence, courage, and professionalism inspire us all to be better leaders for our nation's sons and daughters. In your holy name I pray, amen. You may be seated. Welcome to the United States Army Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame induction ceremony. In 1973, the United States Army Command and General Staff College, the Kansas City chapter of the Military Order of the World Wars, and the Alumni Association, now known as the CGSC Foundation, jointly established the International Hall of Fame. The Hall's purpose is to provide a prestigious and visible means of recognition for international graduates who through military merit have attained one of the highest positions of importance in their respective countries armed forces or who have held an equivalent position by rank or responsibility in a multinational military organization. To date, we have inducted 274 international graduates from 73 different nations into the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame. Fifteen of those inductees served as either head of state or head of government for their respective nation. Today we have the honor of adding three distinguished graduates into the hall. They are Major General Jorgen Ho, Commander, Special Operations Command, D.C. Denmark, CGSOC Class of 1991, General Abu Bilal Muhammad. Shafu Hook, Chief of Staff, Bangladesh Army, CGSOC Class of 1994, and Lieutenant General Retired Luis Sunier, former Chief of Staff, Army of Argentina, CGSOC Class of 1999. It's now my pleasure to introduce the official party for today's ceremony. Starting at your right is our host, Brigadier General Troy D. Galloway. Deputy Commanding General, Army National Guard, U.S. Army Combined Arms Center. 
To the right of General Galloway is Mr. Michael Hockley, Chairman of the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College Foundation. And to his right is Captain James Davis, U.S. Coast Guard retired, representative of the Greater Kansas City Chapter of the Military Order of World Wars. Our award bearer for the ceremony is Army Sergeant Alex Schmaltz. We extend a warm welcome to several distinguished guests with us today. Mrs. Abu Bilal Muhammad Shafil Hook, spouse of the Chief of Army Staff Bangladesh, their son Marzouk and daughter Shamila, Lieutenant General Robert Arder, U.S. Army retired, civilian aide to the Secretary of the Army for the State of Kansas and Mrs. Arder, Mrs. Michael Lundy, spouse of the Commandant, United States Army Command and General Staff College, Mrs. Troy Galloway, spouse of the Deputy Commanding General, Army National Guard, United States Army Combined Arms Center and their daughter Haley, Colonel Roger Donlin, United States Army retired, Medal of Honor recipient and Mrs. Donlin. General Officers, Commanders, Command Sergeants Major, International Liaison Officers, and the leadership from both the Kansas City People to People and Leavenworth Operation organizations who sponsor, thank you all for joining us this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, Brigadier General Holloway. Good morning. What a beautiful Fort Leavenworth morning. On behalf of General Lundy and General LaFlante, it is my distinct pleasure to host today's proceedings. Welcome to Fort Leavenworth and the Combined Arms Center and the Command and General Staff College. It is a privilege to participate in the International Hall of Fame induction ceremony with you this morning. We have three outstanding inductees this morning. And I had the privilege of spending some time with them last evening. And not only are they very accomplished in their military careers, they are fine human beings and individuals, and it is our honor to have them here this morning. General Hull of Denmark, General Bilal of Bangladesh, and General Sunier of Argentina. They were all students here have led distinguished careers and have risen to exceptionally prominent positions within their militaries. We have been fortunate to have international students at the Command and General Staff College since 1894. Our international students bring a wealth of knowledge, diverse perspectives, supreme talent, and they serve as ambassadors of their nations here at the Command and General Staff College. Lifetime friendships are formed here that bring our nations closer together and better prepare us all to handle the growing complexity of the operational environment and that must draw us all together in greater cooperation and collaboration. Through interaction, in and out of the classroom, you learn about each other. You learn your cultures, and they learn yours. We promote teamwork, and we share common bonds. The complex problems that we face today and into the foreseeable future require military forces to function across COMPO, jointly, interagency, and as multinational teams. We're all grateful that the bonds can be forged here at the Command and General Staff College, one of a few precious opportunities to do so throughout our careers. Another key part of this bond with our international students is not necessarily accomplished here at the college, but it's accomplished by outstanding volunteers, our sponsors, I would like to thank our sponsors that have opened their homes to our international students. For decades, two outstanding organizations, Operation International 
a committee of the Leavenworth Lansing Chamber of Commerce, and the Greater Kansas City Chapter of People to People International. Each has played an instrumental role in welcoming our international students with open arms. And they truly make this experience so special. We cannot thank you enough for what you do year after year. And as reflected in People to People International's motto, peace through understanding, understanding grows from interaction. And it's on display in many lifelong relationships and friendships that are formed right here at Fort Leavenworth and in the Commander General Staff College. So to all of our sponsors, I want to say thank you. Thank you for opening your homes and opening your hearts to our international friends and taking time out of your busy day today to be here with us. So if you would, join me in a round of applause for our sponsors. Today our guest of honor joined the ranks of other distinguished officers in the International Hall of Fame. This is a truly rare and honorable achievement. Of the more than 8,000 international students that have, have attended the Commander General Staff College, only 274 have been inducted into the International Hall of Fame. That's less than 4% of all of the international students who have ever attended here. When you consider that more than half of our international students become general officers in their nation's militaries, it is very easy to recognize that these officers are truly part of an elite group. Inductees have moved on to lead their militaries, and indeed some of them have moved on to be heads of state. So today's inductees are all accomplished leaders and exceptional individuals. Our first honoree, General Hull, has accomplished much since graduating from the Commander General Staff College, class of 1991. Most recently, he was chosen to create Denmark's Special Operations Command in 2015, and then he was named commander of that organization in 2016. Prior to creation of the Joint Command, he commanded the Danish Army's Special Operation Forces. He's also served in a number of international staff positions to include Chief, J-5 Policy Branch, NATO Headquarters, Land Forces Central Europe, Heidelberg, Germany. Assistant Chief of Staff, Central Staffs, Allied Rapid Reaction Corps in Germany. and as Special Operations Forces Advisor to the Commander, Joint Forces Command, Lisbon, Portugal. Like many of you, he has served operational tours in Kosovo, Iraq, and Afghanistan. General Hull has served in the military since 1977. He attended the Royal Danish Military Academy in 1979 and graduated in 1983, where he was commissioned into the artillery. He passed the Special Forces Selection Course in 1986 and has commanded at the battery and battalion level in addition to his commands as a general officer. Our congratulations to General Hull and his family. We are honored to induct him into the International Hall of Fame here at the Command and General Staff College. Please publish the order. Please keep your seats as we read the induction order. Attention to orders. The United States Army Command and General Staff College. Be it known that Major General Jorgen Ho, Commander, Special Operations Command, DC Denmark, in recognition of outstanding military achievement and service to his country's armed forces, has been inducted into the United States Army Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame. In testimony whereof and by authority vested in us, we do confer upon him this honor given at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, this first day of March, 2018. General Galloway and General Hull will now unveil the photograph that we will place in the International Hall of Fame.
Mr. Hockley will now present a gift to General Hull, designating him an honorary life constituent of the United States Army Command and General Staff College Foundation. And now Captain Davis will present a certificate on behalf of the Military Order of the World Wars, signifying General Hull's in status as an inductee in the International Hall of Fame. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Major General Hull. I only have five minutes, so just be patient. <laughs> Your Excellencies, esteemed colleagues, and distinguished representatives, friends, faculty, and students, thank you for that warm welcome. Uh, it is a great honor for me to be the 275th uh, inductee into the CDSC International Hall of Fame. When I look back on my time here, there's a lot to be grateful for. My family and I really enjoyed the time here in Kansas. We had a great sponsors in Jay and Thalia Jones from Leavenworth who are present here today, Grant and Joan Raxdell from Kansas City, and Lieutenant Colonel Jeff Waite uh, as the military sponsor. We learned to appreciate to be stationed abroad as a family, an experience that promoted us to stay, seek opportunities abroad as a family later in my career, which you already have heard. When I think about what, we, what got me here from a young captain with hair, uh, attending the CDSC in 1992, a not so young general officer on the break of retirement, my thoughts keep evolving around three key themes. First, the soldier on the ground is always the number one priority. I have worked in a very staff position far away from the soldiers on the ground where procedures and bureaucracy sometimes seems more important than anything else. If we forget, forget the soldier in our everyday work, we, we miss the point that our armies exist to fight and win and hire staff first and foremost exist to support that fight. I've tried to keep this principle in mind throughout my career. Second, valuable experience and learning will happen at the most unexpected places. I consider myself a soldier's soldier, but I've worked such odd places as the Army Material Command, the Danish Defense Facility Management Com Command. In all of those, our positions, I've learned valuable lessons that have benefited me later in my career, even as the commander of the Danish Special Operations Command. The same goes for your time here at CGSC at Fort Leavenworth. I bet that you sometimes find yourself in a joint interagency multinational operations lesson thinking, how will this ever make me a better staff officer or a better warrior? but it will. Believe me, one day you'll be deployed to a remote corner of the world, reaching into your intellectual rucksack and drawing on lessons from that exact uh, lesson you got there. So, learn as much as you can, become a consummated professional no matter what job you find yourself doing. And finally, trust your soldiers and staff when you find yourself leading soldiers and staff, whether as a unit commander or in a staff role, make sure you provide your commanders with vision and planning guidance in a clear and concise manner, and then let your subordinates loose to work on the, the task with all of their skills and creativity. Always show them trust and provide your feedback through crit critical thinking and by challenging their assumptions and their analysis. Let every situation and every mistake be a learning experience rather than an opportunity to, to reprimand 
and humiliate. Trust your subordinate and provide them room to grow. Before I close my remarks, I want to put your year here at Fort Leavenworth into perspective. I don't know whether they still tell you that this will be the best year of your life. <laughs> okay, they do. <laughs> it may not feel that way when you are dragging yourself through a homework and classes, but think about it. No one is shooting at you. You get to go home to your family every day. You get your weekends off to spend with your family and friends. You get to improve your professional skills as a soldier and an officer, skills that may save later, lives later in your career. For a soldier, that is pretty damn good year. So enjoy it. Spend the time with your family. Remember, do your PT. And remember, it is only a lot of reading if you do it. Thank you all. Once again, Brigadier General Galloway. Our second honoree, General Bilal, graduated in the Commander General Staff College Class of 1994. His distinguished career of service to Bangladesh culminated with his selection of the Chief of the Army Staff on 25 June 2015. He served in staff, instructor, and command positions. He commanded two armored battalions, two infantry brigades, an armored brigade, and two infantry divisions. As a staff officer, he served as the aide de camp to President of Bangladesh, brigade major of an infantry brigade, and colonel staff of an infantry division. He also served as military secretary, adjutant general of Bangladesh's army, and as principal staff officer in the armed forces division. As an instructor, General Bilal served in the Bangladesh Military Academy, the Defense Services Command and Staff College, as Commandant of Defense Services Command and Staff College, and the Bangladesh Military Academy and Armored Corps Center and School. He had a tour of duty as Director General of the Bangladesh Institute of International and Strategic Studies. General Bilal was a member of the pioneering group of officers sent to the United Nations peacekeeping missions from Bangladesh. He was an observer in the United Nations Iran-Iraq Military Observer Group 1988-1989, and Deputy Force Commander of United Nations missions in Ethiopia and Eritrea in 2007 in 2008. Our heartiest congratulations to General Bilal and his family. We're honored to induct him into the International Hall of Fame here at the Command and General Staff College. Please publish the order. Attention to orders. The United States Army Command and General Staff College. Be it known that General Abu Bilal Muhammad Shafoo Hook Chief of Army Staff, Bangladesh Army, in recognition of outstanding military achievement in service to his country's armed forces, has been inducted into the United States Army Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame. In testimony whereof and by authority vested in us, we do confer upon him this honor given at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, this first day of March, 2018. General Galloway and General Bilal will now unveil the portrait that we will place in the International Hall of Fame. <laughs> Mr. Hockley will present a gift to General Bilal, designating him an honorary life constituent of the United States Army Command and General Staff College Foundation. <laughs> Captain Davis will now present a certificate 
on behalf of the Military Order of the World Wars, signifying Gerald Balas's status as an inductee into the International Hall of Fame. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, General Bilal. General Galloway, fellow inductees, your guests, dear students, good morning. 25 years ago, in 1993, along with my spouse and three months old firstborn baby, oh, the photograph has changed, okay, <laughs> she was there. I flew thousands of miles into an unknown yet spectacular territory of golden Whitfield. I was both excited to be a part of this prestigious institution and a bit unsure what to expect. However, the warm welcome at the airport by my military sponsor, Colonel Lee, and his spouse broke the ice. I clearly remember while coming from the airport, we stopped by a McDonald's <laughs> and picked a quick bite went to their beautifully decorated house, and then straight to the apartment at 300 Osage Street. And my journey at Leavenworth began. Later, Commandant, in his welcome address, said that this was going to be the best year of our lives, <laughs> which became a slogan and turned out to be true for many of us. To attach a formal flavor to the claim, the city mayor of Leavenworth went up to declaring the international students as his honorary citizens. Day before yesterday, upon landing at the same airport, I reflected back on the fond memories of Leavenworth and felt as if I left the city just the other day. Nelson Mandela once said, I quote, there is nothing like returning to a place that remains unchanged to find the ways in which you yourself have altered, unquote. As I was traveling down the Santa F old Santa Fe Trail to Leavenworth through the rolly land and scattered farmhouses, I was reminiscing all the good times I had spent in this first city of Kansas. It's truly humbling feeling to coming back to the same city and share some of my experience of the moments I spent in Leavenworth. Yesterday, returning to the campus, the first thing that attracted my attention is the new academic building in place of old Bell Hall. I fondly remember the good time I spent in that Bell Hall. I also remember how we used to take short naps in the big blue bedroom, as we called, the auditorium in the, during the central lectures. I see they changed the color. <laughs> I'm not sure whether the same tradition continues till today or not. With smart paparazzis around, we knew all our naps and funny moments would be captured and shared afterwards. The IOSD staff were extremely helpful and always made us feel at home. At that time, we had four sponsors, military, student, Leavenworth, and Kansas City sponsors, who helped us getting settled in every way, starting from settling into the apartment, to opening a bank account, and everything needed in between. Without their sincere and kind support, our life and living would have been extremely difficult. They were just like our family members who made us feel at home in this distant country. A big thank you to all of them. My year in Leavenworth was indeed one of the best years of my life. It created a window for me to view the world with sharpened skills. We had to study, analyze, and comprehend tactics, strategy, international matters in details. 
The subject would cover almost everything pertaining to the roots and causes of conflict, conflict termination instruments, sources for national power, national security, policy formulations, developing alliances, planning, joint and multinational operations, you name it, everything. The visits planned by the college to places like Gettysburg, Topeka, Wichita offered us insight into American history and culture. The visit to Washington, D.C. reinforced our global outlook. We not only learned the theory in the classrooms, but also participated in activities keen to applying those theories in practical lab. This, to me, is the perfect recipe of learning, indeed, a very rewarding both personally and professionally. The insight that I gained through discussions and interaction with U.S. and international students in Leavenworth helped me in understanding the challenges of the present day world much better. Social life in Leavenworth too was extremely rewarding, engaging and filled with activities. My spouse and I were exposed to American way of life and living by our staff group mates and their families. We picked up different activities like line dancing, tap dancing, which we really enjoyed. Our trip to rodeos was exciting and very interesting. We grew the taste of American meals and of course fast food. I come from a part of the world where football is played with foot, not with hands like here. But coming to USA, I really started liking American football. Kansas City Chief, led by quarterback Joe Montana, was doing very well that year. <laughs> Our visit to Kansas City to watch a football game in the stadium was a memorable event of our day and stay. My liking for football till continues. I try to watch at least the Super Bowl over TV. I would also especially appreciate the role played by the International Spouse Organization in bonding our families together. With international offices from more than 60 different countries, Livenworth offered my wife and me with the widest global reach at an early stage of my professional career. The bond and friendship we developed continued till today. While the offices might have been somewhat delinked due to their usually intense professional commitments at home, many of our spouses continue to maintain the friendship through social media. For Livenworth, it is not only a place, of, a place to learn the art of war, rather an institution to learn the art of peace. By initiating and nurturing global connectivity, Leavenworth promotes better cross-cultural understanding and tolerance, a necessity in a world beset with multidimensional threats and challenges. Few words for student officers of today. You all should feel lucky to be here in CGSC. This institution, with its well-planned curriculum, world-class faculty, excellent facilities, and congregation of best and selected officers of armed forces of most of the important countries of the world is the place for learning. Here, you not only get different views and perspective on the same issue, you also make lifelong friends. This is indeed one of the best years of your life. Make the best of it. I'm proud to be an alumnus of this great institution. I thank Commandant and the organizers of this event for creating an opportunity for me, my spouse, our two children, the second one was born later, and my extended family to visit this great institution again, and also for honoring me with a place in the Hall of Fame. This will surely remain a very important day in my professional life. I wish all members of CGSC the very best. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Brigadier General Galloway.
our final inductee, General Sunier from Argentina, has continued to reach great accomplishments as a graduate of the class of 1999. He became the Argentine Army Chief of Staff of January 2016. During his more than 30 years of active military duty, he held assignments in Argentina and abroad. He was assigned as Deputy Support Coordinator to the Ecuadorian Peruvian Military Observer Mission, Deputy Commander of the 601st Engineer Battalion, Chief of the 12th Engineer Battalion, Director of the Army Engineer School, Deputy Director of the Army War College, Deputy Director General for Plans, Programs, and Budget, and Director General for Army Administration and Finance. General Sunair holds a bachelor's degree in strategy and organization. He completed his education with the Senior Leadership and Strategy Joint Course. The U.S. Army Command and General Staff Course and a Master's Program in Administration from the University of Michigan. General Sunair was distinguished with the Peacemaker Medal awarded by the Army Minister of the Federal Republic of Brazil and with the Ecuadorian Armed Forces Star awarded by the Ministry of Defense of Ecuador. General Sunair, our hearty congratulations to you and we look forward to our country's continued friendship. Please publish the order. Attention to orders. The United States Army Command and General Staff College. Be it known that Lieutenant General Luis Sunier, Chief of Staff, Army of Argentina, in recognition of outstanding military achievement in service to his country's armed forces, has been inducted into the United States Army Command and General Staff College International Hall of Fame. In testimony whereof and by authority vested in us, we do confer upon him this honor given at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, this first day of March, 2018. General Galloway and General Sunier will now unveil the photograph that we will place in the International Hall of Fame. Mr. Hockley is presenting a gift to General Sunier, designating him an honorary life constituent of the United States Army Command and General Staff College Foundation. <laughs> and Captain Davis will present a certificate on behalf of the Military Order of the World Wars, signifying General Sunier's status as an inductee into the International Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant General Luis Senior. General Galloway, authorities, faculty, fellow students, friends, and family. It is a great honor to be here today after 19 years, having the opportunity to speak to this elected and wonderful audience. And I'm here as a consequence of another honor, which was the fact that the president of my country chose me, among others, to command the Argentinian Army for the last two years. CGSE is a great and unique experience, the chance of sharing a year with selected officers of the four American services, plus people coming from other, at that moment, 80 different countries, equals a tsunami of knowledge, professional experience, interpersonal relations, and the opportunity to our families, in particular to our children, to enjoy a marvelous and fantastic different year. 
I applied to SAMS here successfully. My government didn't agree with me. So no SAMS, no SAMS for me. <laughs> but I was able to take a, a master program at CMU, very useful to me later. And uh, I enjoyed, of course, the, the rhythm of birthday, group birthday, wife's birthdays, national days, and a whole bunch of activities that allow me to sleep two hours a day. <laughs> the most important things, the friendship, dedication, and love of our sponsor, the Meisters, military sponsors, Irene and Bill Bynum here in Leavenworth, Terry and Byron Chambers in Kansas, special mention to Linda and Jean Jacobs, who sponsored Argentinians for years, and Lieutenant Colonel OB, that must be here, Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Giacomini, and the members of our small nine Bravo group, and Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Madden, in charge of the IO's office. He was a sturdy prompt while my family and I were going through a very difficult situation. It is impossible to me to forget his kindness and company. He stood by myself as a true comrade. I only have five minutes, so feel proud of what you all built every year, every day here for the, for the future of your country and the future of the nations present here. We all want the same. At the end of the day, we all want honest, humble, brave, and courageous soldiers for our armies. Special thanks to Colonel Mike Rayburn, and Miss Susanna Galli, a lady who made possible that hundreds of officers and NCOs from my country could take courses here in, during almost 25 years. Uh, my family and I will never forget what we received from you guys. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Please rise as we play the national anthems of the Kingdom of Denmark, the People's Republic of Bangladesh, and the Argentine Republic, and please remain standing for the departure of the official party.
On behalf of our host, Brigadier General Galloway, thank you all for attending today's ceremony.